What's up guys? Welcome to Chemical Guys Detail Garage Dirty Shorts. In this new series style, we are going to get you all the information you need in a minute or less. And then the OGs can stick around and get those sweet, sweet details and the awesome creative montages that our team puts together. Today we're going to be talking about wheels. So hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of these important notifications and awesome videos. I'll wait and let's go. So step one, you're going to want to prepare. Grab a bucket, fill it with water, insert a Chemical Guys Cyclone Dirt Trap. Place your various Chemical Guys brushes in there to pre-soak. Squeeze one to two ounces of your favorite Chemical Guys wheel cleaner into the bucket. Activate the suds with some pressure. Step two, knock it off. Pre-rinse your wheel to knock off any loose dirt, grime, or debris. Step three, scrub a dub dubs. Generously spray your designated wheel cleaner onto the surface. Use your various Chemical Guys brushes to suds up and clean every last inch of that wheel. Remember to get the face, the barrel, the spokes, the lug nuts, and the tire. Bonus round, while you're there, grab your Wheel Works wheel and body brush or your rim pack or reach around and tackle that undercarriage. Step four, rinse off all that foamy filth to reveal a nice clean wheel. Step five, use the Provlo or a microfiber towel to dry. And if you'd like to add protection, apply Hydrospin to the rim and your favorite protective dressing to the tire. You are done. And that's it, you're done. It's that easy to clean your wheel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and do so. If you wanna get any of the products that you saw in this video, go to chemicalguys.com or your local detail garage. And if you want more information on why we did all the stuff we did, stick around because we're gonna get into wheel number two right now. All right, guys, so if you stuck around this long, it means you want to get into the nitty gritty details, the dirty down under details of the deets. So we're going to get into that right now. Um, so the first things first is why do we even need to clean a wheel at all, right? It's dirty. It touches the ground. It's probably the dirtiest part of your entire vehicle because it touches the ground constantly. The biggest thing you ever want to do when you're cleaning your car is to prevent scratches and swirls. That's the number one key element to all of what we do here. Now, what causes scratches and swirls on your rims? It's brake dust. Brake dust is the number one wheel killer. I don't know if you've ever seen those cars that haven't been washed, that have all the little dots on the rim. Those are called, uh, it's called pitting. And it's basically brake dust that has eaten away at the rim itself. So you definitely want to avoid that. Unless you're a crash test dummy, you're going to have some brake dust because hopefully you're pressing on your brake pedal. Every time you press on your brake pedal, you're generating brake dust because the calipers are squeezing tight onto that uh, rotor and basically generating brake dust. So we want to get rid of that as quickly as possible. Anytime you are washing something and you bring that tool back into your bucket, you're going to bring all that dirt and grime into your bucket as well. So to prevent taking that dirty water and now applying it, reapplying it back to your wheel, that's why we have a dirt trap. So we already have the dirt trap in here from the first wheel, but I'm gonna show you with this example dirt trap what's happening here. The dirt traps have a bunch of cyclonic filters here. There's about, I don't know, 100 of these or so, probably more. And uh, what happens is as you're scrubbing your brush on this dirt trap, the water and the dirt and the debris is going through these little filters, right? And it's getting stuck at the bottom of your wash water, not coming back up through the top. It prevents it using essentially suction. There's a, when you place the dirt trap in at a 45 degree angle, you're creating a permanent seal at the bottom, which pulls contaminants down through it and prevents it from coming back up and rising back in your wash water. So what you end up with is you end up with some dirty water at the bottom, your dirt trap, and then clean water at the top. That's going to help prevent all that stuff from going back onto your wheel. Anytime you run out of suds, you can always just reactivate by putting some pressure in your bucket here. So as you can see, you can reactivate this and you'll get a bunch of lubricating suds. Now you want to pre-rinse the wheel just to have some water to work with and to knock off any of that heavy, loose dirt and grime. Once that's done, we're going to grab our sticky citrus gel wheel cleaner, which is a citrus based acid free formula, safe for all wheel types, but very high cleaning power. And it's right in the name. When you spray this on, it's going to stick to your rim. Once you have that done, you're going to grab your wheelie wheel brush, 
spray a couple sprays into your brush just for good measure. And you're gonna start working from top to bottom. The reason we do that is because of gravity. Basically, you don't wanna do the bottom and then get to the top and have all that dirt roll down to the bottom again. So you start at the top. You can either grab this as a regular handle or you can grab the top of this, which a lot of us like to do, to really get in there and get that foam action working for you. So now the foam and the sticky citrus wheel gel is reacting with the dirt and pulling it off of the surface gently. The flag tip bristles of this brush conform to the wheel very nicely and they're safe for all wheel types as well. So you can see it's very gentle and safe and really easily removes all of that dirt and grime. Once that's done, you can rinse this. If you wanna make another pass on this, you can go down and basically rub, I don't know if you can see through the bucket here, but you can rub that dirt trap with the brush to remove all of the contaminants off the brush and have a nice clean brush to work with. Next up, we're gonna grab our rim packa. This is gonna go through the barrel of the wheel. Same thing, you wanna to work top to bottom. And the great thing about the Rimpaka is it's nice and soft as well. You can actually use this dry on the interior of your car uh, to dust your dash or door panels or anything like that. Uh, but it works great dry or wet and has, has a plastic handle. So if you accidentally tap your rim, you won't scratch it. And essentially same thing. You wanna work top to bottom, really get inside the barrel. A lot of people don't try to clean their barrel but this is where a lot of the brake dust sits and settles and you can get da permanent damage on here too if you don't clean it. So you wanna definitely get in there as well. Same kind of procedure. If you run out of suds, just go back to your bucket, grab some fresh suds and uh, work that in. Once you're done with that, grab your boar's hair detailing brush and hit the intricate spot. So, in my wheels, I've got the lug nuts right here. You can get nice and deep into those little lug nut areas. And on top of that, if there's any little intricate spokes that you missed, you can also hit that. Essentially, you could detail this whole wheel with just this brush, like a little painter, right? A little, nice little painting that you're doing in here. But uh, that would take you a lot longer than using the methods we did. It's all up to you. If you have the time and you wanna really get in there and make this an extreme art, then Go for it, it's even better. You can get the brake calipers uh, with this. You can get a lot of those little intricate details that you couldn't necessarily reach with the other big brushes here. So once you're done with that, you can attack the tire. Now you could use the wheel brush here. We have some firmer options uh, like the big blue stiffy and other brushes of that type. But because I have low profile tires, I'm actually gonna use the nifty carpet brush. Uh, which functions great as a tire brush. So I'm gonna spray some sticky citrus wheel gel on here and just start getting the tire. You can see the Nifty brush almost fits my tire perfectly versus, versus a brush this size that's a little too big. I don't wanna necessarily hit the rim with that, uh, with the firmer brush. If you've got regular style wheels, I mean, you should definitely be able to get away with the big blue stiffy. Uh, but if you've got the low profile, a little pro tip is to use the Nifty brush. So you can see right here, all that dirt is getting, all that embedded dirt is getting lifted up off the tire here. Your tire should kind of look brown. That is the actual uh, state of your tire once you're done cleaning this. Uh, and then after you're done, you can protect it with a dressing. And that's basically it. At this point, you want to rinse it off and you reveal a nice clean wheel. I'm gonna take this moment to sing you guys a little song. And this song really helps me as I'm detailing. It's all about wheels. I really love you. I really do. I really wanna see you clean through and through. I really love you. I really do. I wanna shine with you. Sorry, Joey. 
So the next phase is to dry the wheel and you can do either a microfiber towel or use the Pro Blow. Now the Pro Blow is an awesome portable blower that really helps uh, dry your wheels really quickly. This gets into intricate spots like uh, if you're washing your car, you can get into the gas cap area here. You can get into the lug nuts. You can get into places that you wouldn't be able to really squeeze a microfiber towel into, which is why I kind of prefer this method. It gets a little loud, so I'll probably time lapse this guy for you, but you'll see all of the water beads that kind of blow out of the rim here. Huh? All right, guys, so now that we have the wheel clean and dried, what we're gonna do is we wanna protect it. So I've got two products here. I've got the Hydro Spin and Hydro Shield. Hydro Spin is for your rims and Hydro Shield is for all your vinyl, rubber, and plastic components uh, that you wanna protect with some ceramic and also give a little nice shine to. So both of these products have SiO2 ceramic properties inside of them, which is gonna give you extreme hydrophobic properties as well as dust and dirt rejection. This functions as a quick detailer for your rims. What you're gonna do is you're gonna grab a microfiber applicator and you're gonna spray just two lines on that. Pretty simple, straightforward, and just start applying to your rim. You're gonna let that sit for about three minutes because you want that to cure for a second. And then you're just gonna wipe that off with a microfiber towel. Now what this is doing is it's applying a ceramic coating to your rim, which is going to protect it from any uh, brake dust that we were talking about before, where now it should easily come off based on the protective barrier that this is creating. Once that's on there, you're gonna take a clean microfiber towel and just buff off after those three minutes. And look at that shine. It adds a nice crystalline shine to the rim and also that super hydrophobic ceramic protection. Now, as you can see, the tire looks brown. And this is, like I was saying before, what a clean tire is actually supposed to look like. We took all the previous dressings or anything else that was on the tire off. As you can see, my finger's clean. I rubbed the tire, finger's still clean. We cleaned this tire, it's perfectly clean. Um, but I don't really personally like this brown look. Most people don't really like this brown look. So we're gonna use Hydro Shield to make it look amazing. Hydro Shield, like I said before, is a vinyl rubber and plastic ceramic shine coating. This could be used on your trim, this could be used on your tires, this could be used on your dashboard on the interior of your vehicle. It has a lot of use cases and it's an awesome product. This is gonna leave your tire with a deep dark ceramic finish and also durable protection against the elements. So for this one, we're gonna grab a foam applicator, put a couple sprays on that, and same thing, go from the top to the bottom, just coat the tire with this dressing. And I really love the look of Hydro Shield. It gives like the perfect gloss to your wheel. It's basically like, uh, it looks wet, but not too wet. Some people like the really soaking wet look. Some people like the dry to the touch look, but either way, it's gonna be dry to the touch once this thing is finished. So just apply that to the wheel and let that sit there for a couple minutes to absorb into the tire and uh, allow that ceramic to really get in there. Once you're done, again, you can grab a microfiber towel and buff off the excess. Uh, if you don't want to see that there. So we're just gonna buff it off and look at that reveal. It's got this beautiful, beautiful shine back to the wheel now. We know that it's protected against the elements and it's basically good to go. Again, now this is dry to the touch. There's nothing coming off here. So we're ready to roll. All right, guys, it's that easy. Thanks for sticking around for the whole episode. If you wanna see more like this, hit that subscribe button. Hit the likes, the notifications, all that jazz. And uh, I'm gonna go clean the other two wheels. Enjoy this montage, and we'll see you next time on Chemical Guys Detail Garage Dirty Shorts. <laughs>